Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Automaton. Today, I would like to thank Quiet Riot. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. It is greatly appreciated. So today, I have a little bit of a hologram going on here. As you can see, I have three projectors. In fact, I, I decided to use all three because, yes, I did kind of build a structure. Uh, out here is not the best example. Maybe... Maybe let's go down the other side. Uh, we'll go down the uh, the alternate side here. And no, I haven't gotten a lot of... I did get a lot of zombie flesh, but that thing hasn't really been that fruitful for me so far. I did make this little stairway to go down, so I could make things happen underground if I so desire. But um, if I come down here, you can see the beginnings of the platform. No, it's not going to be as plain and boring as this. I do have some uh, like struts down there so that it looks a little bit more official, but at least this is the beginnings of it at the moment. I don't know if I'm going to have another floor over here. I don't know if I'm going to add in all sorts of different struts and things like that to make it look a little more genuine, but that's the basic idea at least. And then we're going to head back up here and continue on with the building of multiple large machines. Specifically, all of them piping into each other. Uh, basically, I've got a squeezer in this 3x3 three three area here. I've got a refinery in this large area here. And then I've got a fermenter in this 3x3 three three area here. And they're all kind of connected into each other. If you notice, these are all like pipes along the bottom. And uh, I have most of the items in my inventory. Now, I do have, as you notice, a couple loot chests. Reason being is because I did just make a whole bunch of more stuff, you know, like uh, the, the engineering frames and stuff like that. And I just ended up doing that because the, the, the whole last episode is pretty much me just getting a bunch of these rewards, crafting a bunch of items, and that was it. So I figured it would be a little bit more entertaining if we didn't just do exactly the same thing. Uh, now, in this case, I have all the ingredients for one of these. And I was thinking, you know, we could build all three at once. So I got all the ingredients together. Uh, this is for, wait, which one is this? This is the squeezer. Here's all the ingredients for the squeezer. This is the refinery. There's the ingredients for the refinery. And this is the fermenter. There's all the ingredients for the fermenter. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. I'm going to combine them all. Blech. Blech. And we're going to take those. And I got a couple shaders uh, from one of the, uh, the locals. I traded in some emeralds to see what I could get. And uh, I I got a little a little something interesting for I think my uh, my pistol at least. So let's start with some pipe because I need to put a bunch of this stuff down. There's a whole lot of it needs to go down right down the middle. There we go. And then I've got what a bunch of scaffolding. Oh, it actually even tells me with the uh, the one probe on the bottom there. That's oh no no that's just the aluminum scaffolding that I have. These are both the same. They're just different texture. You can just chisel them or craft them in your own inventory. I thought that it told me what it was, but I guess it doesn't. Light engineering block. I'm pretty sure that's what goes here. No. Actually, if I hold it, it should highlight if it's the correct item. Oh, that is the right item. Okay, so there we've got one here. And we've got one here. All right, and yes, I actually reversed this one. I think that they'll all face out this way. I'm not entirely sure. Let's, I, I don't need that. I do need all this steel scaffolding, though. That's a large demand. I think that's a heavy engineering block in the front there, where the, um, that redstone one, or where the, uh, the refinery input is, or, no, that's the output, I think. Okay, and that's, both of those are done, but I don't have this middle one done. So let's try, yep, heavy engineering block, one and two complete. So then we've got the redstone engineering blocks. One, oops, one, two, and pick this one back up. I didn't mean to do that. Three, and then we've got more light engineering blocks. Same as before, they're kind of like at the corners here. And then I've got some wooden barrels. Who gets the wooden barrels? You get the wooden barrels. I've, I've never actually built a triple stu structure before. This is interesting and confusing at the same time. Uh, I need sheet metal which goes here. Difficult to actually click in some spots here because you can't really see too well. And then we've got, uh, what is this? Is this the cauldrons? 
I think it's the cauldrons. No. No, it's not. What I, no, it looks like the cauldrons. It just doesn't agree with what I've got here. So I'm putting them down anyway. There we go. And then we need more sheet metal uh, here. Okay, i got to hold sneak in order to place these. Oh, is that one actually complete? All right, that's the first one complete. And then we just work our way back over here. And we can do all three of these at once. Well, not at the same exact time, but you get the idea. Piston, that is going to be a problem. But I can rotate that, uh, whether it be with my hammer or with one of these. That just rotates that up and down. Can I... You're going to be difficult, aren't you? Yes, you are. All right. I think I can still use this little wooden wrench um, to rotate it the other way. No, I don't think that's going to work that way because that's just going to want to... Oh, it does work. Okay, there we go. Got it. And then I can use the steel fencing here, here, here. And that's all three of them complete, right? Well, almost. Uh, I just need to grab one of my tools from my under chest here. Start clicking on these and hope that they actually form. Yeah, I was afraid of that. All right, let's let's uh, let's break this and then try that. Uh, there we go. And then let's try it again. Actually, it probably did work and I just clicked in the wrong spot. So it's not always the redstone blocks. Yeah, there we go. Usually it's just the middle. Ta-da! And I can put levers all in the front here. Sweet. So this currently is, uh, as the projector says, a squeezer. A squeezer, let's click on here, uh, squeezes things like, I believe, seeds? Yes, seeds uh, inside and makes, uh, oh gosh, is it ethanol? I can't, no, not ethanol. It, it makes plant oil. That was it. And then the, that's it, the fermenter will take things like uh, different vegetable byproducts and turn them into ethanol. And then the ethanol and the seed oil go into the refinery here and start making biodiesel, which is a good fuel as well as uh, something required for a certain drill that I've been trying to power for some time. Very eager to actually get this going. Let's put that back in, put my uh, little wooden wrench away. And in fact, I think I need to get these uh, projectors off my hot bar before uh, I start going insane with the constant little frame rate issues going on there. There we go. Much better. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And I've got lots of space out here, which is good because I'm going to need it for like biodiesel engine as well as like a battery block or something. All sorts of, of things of that nature. Whoops. But before I get too crazy, let's start opening these two loot chests I've been sitting on for uh, most of the episode here. Oh, four basic fluid tanks. That's actually really useful. And two 64K ME storage components. Wonderful. I'll go put these away. All right, so now that I'm downstairs and I put those away, I figured, you know, we've got lots of seeds. Could definitely use some of these. <laughs> I am going to need some power to run these things. I also have some wheat. I don't, I don't know that they're going to be used as a good byproduct. Um, I might have to start going into our farming supplies and go with the corn. I think that the corn is going to be a good, where is it, industrial fermenter. Uh, does it say how much I get? 120 millibuckets. Uh, use for this, I can get what, 80 from sugarcane, 80 from melons, 80 from apples, potatoes is also 80. Yeah, so corn, pretty much corn. Uh, I'm definitely going to want to do corn. Uh, let's grab... Four stacks of each, uh, not that, this, this industrial hemp seeds, two, three, four, because I think these in the squeezer, they get 120 millibuckets of plant oil. So therefore that should even out because before you'd get like these weird quantities, it'd be like one and a half to one or something like that. And they wouldn't balance out when trying to make biodiesel. But with those, get that off my hot bar got four stacks of these four stacks of those i just need power oh which is going to be a bit of a problem uh because right now all of my power is pretty much coming from that one uh windmill upstairs which is not very much let me uh change it today there we go and as much as this thing is really nice and i like having that just constant power rate i don't have any other power to get these machines going and they all require quite a bit of power um, now a diesel engine 
can then be powered with these machines, which then can power those machines. But only so far. So I will need something to start things up. And I'm thinking if I can get enough biodiesel that I can fill up my drill once, then I'll probably be set for quite a while, at least, uh, for starting with the biodiesel stuff. So at least that's the plan. And therefore, with that in mind, I'm going to go upstairs and we're going to use, <laughs> of all things, low voltage cable. Now I'm grabbing the ones that I have here, and I don't really think that I need the capacitors as much. But um, uh, I, I hate to use the low voltage cable because we're going to outgrow it very quickly. But currently that's my entire power structure is made from that stuff. And I thought that I had some... Oh, I do have some copper wire. I need more copper. All right, I'm going to go grab some more copper, make some more of these uh, wire coils because I'm definitely going to need those. I've got plenty of the relays and connectors. Uh, but once I get that, then I'll be back and we can hook this up. There we go. I now have a decent amount of those to get things started. Not to say that this is going to be enough, because right now these things, they require so much power. So much power. Um, just need to look for these little eh, spots here. So if I can, there's one. And there's another one on the back here. Uh, I'm going to have to run around to get to that one, which is fine. I left plenty of space back here so that I could. Two, and then we've got another one back here. And I'm going to manually insert this stuff at the moment. Uh, this one is the squeezer. Yes, the squeezer. So that's going to be needing the seeds. I'm going to put the corn and the fermenter. And then we just need a bunch of relays going on here. And actually, do I have any uh, poles or posts or anything that I could temporarily use? Uh, I mean, I've got these wall mounts I was using for support beams of sort, but I don't think I don't think I have any of these right now, uh, which is what I was looking for. Maybe I can make some up. There we go. Four wooden posts. Should be a good start at least. Oh, I don't have any space in here for that. Well, I guess I'm going to bleh, try and just get rid of this. Bleh. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I know I've got a trash can in my inventory, but sometimes you just don't want to click. <laughs> or at least raise your finger off the keyboard. It's the incredibly lazy way of doing it. Yes, I know. Too bad. Um, so I'm going to need one to feed into there. Need one to feed into there, and we're going to need one to feed back here. Mm, I think I could just do this above it. No, I don't think that that'll work, because I think that these are best if they're kind of placed a little differently. Let's break this, put it here, and where's that torch? Put the torch down there, and that might work, hopefully. All right, so I need my hammer which I don't have with me. That might help. Okay, hammer, the reason for it at least, is so that I can do this, and then I can do this, and put the relays underneath, which then they line up with these ones. Should allow me to also kind of keep things a little bit cleaner here. Uh, I'm seeing that there is... Oh, that's post there. Okay, so I will have to break this. I didn't bring my cutters with me, but they are right here. Let's grab this instead of the block placer. I'm gonna snip here. There we go. And then I can take this, connect it to here, connect this to there. And then the power still runs inside. And then this power can run hopefully all the way over here. Gosh, that's bright. And then I can run this one down here to this beam here. Oh gosh, doing this during the day should be easier, but it's so bright when you look right into the sun. Oh my gosh. All right, so from here, back here. There we go. And then there's that, which is it? Yeah, it's actually getting power. Not that it really needs the power right now because it's not going to be refining anything yet. There's that one, and last but not least, this one, which 
It's going to be processing just at an incredibly slow rate because these things require a minimum amount of power in order to run. And then the uh, it's not actually going to be in the um, the down in here in this. See, it says empty right now. It will automatically go into the refiner, uh, which is saying it's empty right now, but I don't know if it's actually even doing anything. Oh, that's because it's still powering up for its first one. <laughs> it's almost there to process its first press. Come on, come on, you can do it. There it goes. And it probably went in, because then it'll take ethanol. There we go. And it got the other one, and it made a tiny bit of biodiesel. It's working very, very slowly, but it's working. So we need to augment this a little bit. And I was thinking, this is kind of why I made this the, the base, sub-basement area of a sort. Ah, tag on it. There we go. This area down here that I could make like a little tiny um, generator room, like a backup passive generator room. And that would mean using lava and some kind of cool power source. And I don't have any ice. I don't think I've found any ice. And even if I did, I don't, I'm pretty sure that I don't have a uh, silk touch book. And I actually did some fishing. I did a, a lot of fishing here. Let me show you uh, where, I, where I put it. There it is. This one here. Unbreaking 3, Luck of the Sea 3, Lure 3. That's what I used. I spent some levels on it, and I used up that much of it fishing. All I got, uh, more or less, was... Where is it? Oh, it's in here. Uh, a few bows and a whole lot of fish and leather and such and that other fishing rod that you saw but oh it was so disappointing i was really hoping that i would get like some mending books or, or silk touch or anything like that i didn't get a single magical book uh with that fishing rod which was really sad but we can still proceed and hope that we'll get some other stuff uh, i mean there are ways of proceeding otherwise let's see um overcoming your enemies i still have to go through this quest line Maybe some of these uh, rewards could be good. Diesel power is what's needed next, which is going to be the uh, a means of making power using some of that diesel and that is being created. Uh, and then powering up. I don't think that I'm really going to get much for those ones, but you never know. You never can tell. So I am still going to be making some thermal power. Basically thermoelectric generators. These do require a lot of copper and a little bit of constantan, which uh, constantan, hold on a second here, is made from copper and nickel, which I've just been sitting on a bunch of nickel uh, lately. I can't remember which one it is. That's Those are both aluminum. Uh, and I think I even have some constantan in here. Yeah, I think I've got 14 ingots worth. So I should be able to make this, and each one will make me somewhere around the neighborhood of 40, 40 power per tick. I have the steel. So I can make probably about three or four of these ones, and that should help supplement my power and get a little bit more biodiesel production going, um, at least a little bit faster than what it is, you know, like a few, a few millibuckets per tick. But yeah, so let me get the materials for that, and I'll be right back. All right, so I believe I may have enough. Need to make a little bit more of these? No, I, th I think I've got enough. Actually, I just wanted to make eight. There we go. Eight thermoelectric generators. I've got a bunch of LV wire connectors. I've got some LV wire coil. No idea if this is going to make too much and fry the wire, but I guess we find out at this point. Um, so let's head downstairs. I kind of cleared out a little space here. It's not too big or anything. Uh, not, nothing really too crazy. But the idea is that, yeah, there we go. That, that should work quite nicely. I need to get some lava buckets down here. Uh, I also need to get some kind of light source. It's actually a bit dark. There we go. That's a little bit better at least. Uh, I can expand this out, make it look a little bit nicer. But for now, I just wanted to have some kind of passive power that's giving us enough to keep running. Uh, but I am going to need to remove all this in-between stuff here as well as a little bit something else. Like behind these, I will need to remove that, that. Uh, in fact, I might even need to, probably be a good idea just to remove this stuff above it so that I can access these areas. 
Because I'm going to need to uh, pump uh, lava, and for now, I'm just going to use water. Uh, I would prefer to use ice or something like that. I, I do have some uranium. I could probably use a little bit of that, maybe at the, the beginning here, so that I'm not, like, just using the... Wait a minute, I've got an extra one. Oh, that's right. There we go. So that I, I'm not burning myself or anything when I step on it, but it takes entire blocks of uranium. And I don't think that I have quite that much of it with the uh, mining that I've been doing. Uh, let's see if I can find some here. There it is. I've got I've got seven blocks worth actually. Let's let's take those and see <laughs> see if I can put these to use um, downstairs. In fact, before I go, I've got a single water bucket. Let's take a little bit more. And I think underneath this. Yeah, I've got this little peekaboo hatch that I can get water with. There we go. Now I can make an infinite source at least. Then I can put that lever back. Turn that off. There we go. And head downstairs. So, this in mind. Can I make this work? I think I might be able to. Uh, if I put this here, here, and here. And then I just need there and there. And I, I even have two left. Oh, actually... It helps if I actually break this one out too. There we go. I, I think that actually works. Uh, the rest of it is just a bunch of water. So let's um, let's make a little water spot here. In fact, this looks perfect. Uh, one and two, and then I just take from here, fill these in, and then they should start filling up with some kind of, I don't know, power, I guess. I don't know if I can see it with this or not, but for now, I just know that this is what I'm going to do. All right, almost had it. Uh, it turns out that I need to keep these going into the wall a bit, uh, and I'm one block short to get all of these completed right here, I believe. But I think for now, we'll probably fill that last one in with a little bit of lava instead, and that should probably do the trick. And let's see if I can just take these out. Pick this up and get rid of these last items. Oh, and I just realized that also putting lava down here might be very precarious considering that I have stuff above. So I think I might just skip that. I realize that I have a lot of protected stuff in the house, so I'm not too worried about it. But until I can get another uh, block of that, I think I'm just going to go with what I have. Which then means I need to have a whole lot of power connections in here. And then LV wire cable. Let's take this right here. And then I don't have enough connections. Definitely don't have enough. So I'm going to go make myself some more copper wire. Or rather, LV wire. Okay, so I've got more being made at the moment. Now it's just a matter of hooking things up. Getting this uh, upstairs with a bunch of LV wire relays. And like I said, hopefully not burning out the wire in the process. Uh, I think might be able to just run it through here. Um, maybe, because I've got this already going here. If I can get this connected down here. I See, I don't know if I can actually reach this around or not. Or, oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if, what if I have it come over here? And then that can reach down. That might work. Then I'm not bumping my head on it as well. Can I get this up here? There. And then I could have this connect down here. Yeah, that's not bad. At least for, for the moment. I realize this torch is in the way, so that's going to have to move. But I think that I might be able to manage with this one. Two, and then this here. Hey, that that seems to work. And then we just connect this and this. And then we see if we're actually getting power <laughs> into our main system. Because right now I turned everything off since I couldn't even make uh, plates anymore <laughs> uh, with what I had going on uh, upstairs with the, uh, the press. Uh, I guess one way to find out is... Well, that's already full. But that's not exactly a good judge of things, uh, especially since I've got everything off at the moment. Not to say that it's going to be able to uh, power everything 
full, like max speed or something. This thing's got a bunch of wire cable in it. So if I turn these on, we should start working again. Let's let's find out if this starts working. Oh, look at that power. All right. It is dropping. Yes, it is. But how fast is it going up at this point? Is it even going up? That's a really slow rate. Let, let's use something that's not quite so heavy with the power use, in comparison at least. I will try one of these. I realize that's going to use a lot in there. Oh, but that is doing pretty good. And then we can turn this on. And then this could just start filling up with biodiesel, plant oil, and ethanol. Which we could always store those as well. Like run one machine at a time and then have it process in here and then turn the other machines off and whatnot. I could also have a uh, different redstone activator like uh, wires coming in to connect to this stuff. But let's see. All right, that should work. Now if I turn this on, it's already got a little bit of power stored up right now. And it should just start making the bio. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's good. So if I go look at, get my, my, my drill and I just put this in there, I think it'll actually just fill it, right? How much is in there? 8,000. All right, so I think that this actually holds at least that. Fuel, 4,000 out of 4,000. So, oh, it's already full. Wait, I thought I had a full, uh, a full, bleh. I thought I had a bigger tank on this thing. Hold on a second. Is that the big tank? That is the large tank. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, I guess mission, mission accomplished, folks. I, I feel pretty good about this. All right, so this is the beginnings of the bigger batter base. Um, we're we're gonna by batter, it's batter in some ways, like the wire situation. Once I get a ceiling in here, I'm I feel it's gonna be a little bit better, and then maybe we can instead of using these posts, we can use some uh, taller frames or something that looks a little bit more professional. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go give this thing a run down in the mines. Um, which actually, I don't even know why I'm going out here. Let Let's go the extreme way. And run, just run downstairs like this. <laughs> that works much better. I realize my inventory is full, but this is a test run so I can show you guys and we can see if it is working as intended. I remember the, uh, the drill on this actually works like, um, it works just as good. Let's turn on journey map here. Ooh, that's quite a messy area. Oh, I can go to the left a bit. We can go over here and then just start drilling in on this area. This looks good. And that should, if I hold sneak, it just does one block at a time. And if I let go, then it can just do that. Oh, that's so good. Put this in the offhand. I can put, oh my gosh. It's ridiculous. And then one, two. And it it's easily got diamond level. That's not a problem. Oh my gosh. This is so good. This is so good. This is better. This is like the wub hammer return, but I don't need it anymore, you know? Oh, and then of course, depending on the side or facing that I drill on, it does a three by three area. Nice. So I think what I'm going to do, folks, as you might have guessed, is I'm going to be um, doing some mining. Yeah, that, that's kind of the thing that I'm going to be doing here. And uh, yeah, uh, I will be getting a bit more materials, probably replacing that last block of uranium. Seeing if I can get enough for us to get a biodiesel setup going outside properly. And then maybe I'll start a little bit of cloche production as well. I don't know if I really want to get too heavily into that. Or if uh, we, we just see what we can progress through and get to the next state or not. But for now, I feel pretty good that we've got some biodiesel production going on in a relatively somewhat slow, passive manner. And uh, I don't have the cloches hooked up yet. I feel that maybe I should, just so that I can leave that to do its own thing at its own pace. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on Twitch most nights around 10 p.m. Until next time, folks. I'll see ya.